Today we're making baking soda clay. This is a really versatile clay and it's really easy to make. You need some cornstarch, some baking soda, some measuring cups, a fork, and a measuring cup. You're gonna put a quarter of a cup of water in your measuring cup and then you're gonna have half a cup of baking soda and then you're going to pour it into that quarter cup of water and then you're going to take a quarter cup of cornstarch and also pour that right into the baking soda and the water mixture. This is an affordable recipe made from common household ingredients, so it keeps it really low cost. It also air dries naturally, so you don't need an oven or a kiln. And once it's dry, it's really lightweight. And the baking soda also readily accepts paints and dyes, so you can make some really beautiful projects. We're gonna take it down to our stove. We're gonna put it in a saucepan and we're gonna put it on a really low heat. I've got mine set at two. And we're just gonna keep stirring with that fork. And as you do, it's gonna to start to thicken up. Don't leave it, keep stirring it. Another thing that I love about baking soda clay is it's kid friendly since it's made from non-toxic ingredients. So you can have fun creating with your kids or your grandkids. I'm going to keep stirring until it comes away from the side of the saucepan. It doesn't take very long. It only took a couple minutes. And then you're going to remove it from the saucepan and set it on your table and let it cool down. Once it's cooled down, you can start molding it into the shapes that you want. I've got just a non-stick sheet. And this is the point where you can even add some food coloring into your clay if you want a specific color. I'm going to leave mine the natural color. Now I'm gonna roll it out. I have some shutter slats that I glued together and it's the width that I want for my clay. And I'm gonna use my rolling pin and it'll be even all the way across. Once I have it rolled out flat, I'm gonna get some cookie cutters and I'm gonna cut out my shapes. This type of baking soda clay is also sometimes known as cold porcelain. And I find when I'm making it, it really keeps the detail of your projects that you're making, which makes it really good for intricate pieces. And if you're looking for some ideas on what to do with this clay, you can make jewelry, you can make pendants and earrings and beads, you can make figurines, you can make home decor such as little trinket dishes, you can make ornaments for the holidays, cake toppers perfect for birthdays or weddings, or you can make accessories like keychains or magnets, or you can decorate picture frames or make coasters. So many different possibilities. A while back, I did a video on your own DIY silicone molds. I'll put the link to that tutorial down below in the description, but this is perfect to use those molds with this type of clay. This is a frame that I found at the thrift store that I made into a mold, and I'm pressing that clay into the mold, and look how detailed and intricate it is. And then you can just set this aside, let it air dry. It might take a day or so, and then you can add it to your DIY projects. These are some of the ornaments that I made the other day. It's been 24 hours and they're completely dry. You can take a little bit of sandpaper and you can smooth off the edges and I've added some twine. Beautiful little ornaments from baking soda clay. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let me know down in the comments if you've ever made it before. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.